In this video, we'll lay out the steps in detail to assist you in your migration journey from the Google Workspace to Zoho Mail with our one-click migration. This process requires four simple steps to migrate all your data at once. Let's get started. Step 1. Enter your migration details. To do this, log into your Zoho Mail admin console. Select Data Migration and click Start Migration. Enter a name for the migration for your own reference. Choose the Google Workspace from the Select Protocol Application dropdown. Step 2. Authenticate your Google Workspace account and validate it in Zoho Mail. You can do this part in four sub-steps. Create a Google Workspace service account for this migration. Enable API access for that account. Grant access to your service account. And finally, authenticate your service account in Zoho Mail. Step 2.1. Create your Google Workspace service account. Log into your Google Developers Console, select Create Project, enter a project name and select Create. Now select Create Service Account, enter a display name in the Service Account Name field and click Create and Continue. Next, select the role that you would like to assign to the Service Account from the drop-down menu and click Continue. Select Done. Next, select your newly generated service account email address. Please make a note of the email and unique ID. Now, navigate to the Keys tab and select Create New Key from the Add Key dropdown. Select P12 and click Create to download a file with your private key. Make sure to save this file. Finally, click Done. Step 2.2. Enable API access. Log into your Google API library and use the search bar in the top to locate the following APIs. Search for Gmail API and click Enable. Next, search for Google Calendar API and click Enable. Next, search for Contacts API and click Enable. Next, search for CalDAB API and click Enable. Next, search for Admin SDK API and click Enable. Finally, search for Google People API and click Enable. Step 2.3. Grant access to your service account. Log into your Google Workspace Admin account. Go to Security and select API Controls from the Access and Data Control drop-down menu. Next, select Manage Domain-Wide Delegation, then select Add New. Navigate back to your Google Developers Console and copy the unique ID it generated, then paste it into the Client ID field in your Google Workspace Admin account. Now, open our Zoho Help Google Workspace authorization page in a new browser and copy the values. Navigate back to your Google Workspace Admin account and paste those copied values into the OAuth scopes. Finally, select Authorize. Step 2.4. Authenticate in Zoho Mail. Navigate back to your Zoho Mail Admin console. Enter your super admin email address in the first field. Now, go to your Google Developers Console tab and copy the service account email address. Paste the email address into the service account email address field in your Zoho Mail admin console. Select Upload Secret Key File and upload the private key file you downloaded and saved at the end of step 2.1. Click Authenticate. Select Add and select Proceed in Map Domains. Select the user and click Proceed. Enter a name for this import in the Name for this import field. Enter a password for the users being imported and enable the force users to change password on next sign-in option. Enable aliases and phone number under the data that should be imported. Step 3. Select users for migration. Select data migration in your Zoho Mail admin console and select create. Enter a name for this migration for your own reference. Select Add New Server Details from the Select Saved Server Details drop-down menu. 
Select Google Workspaces from the Select Protocol application drop-down menu. Select Add. Next, enable the applications you want to migrate data from. Enable all folders for migration and enable all emails for migration. Enable the options in Other Preferences and enable Yes for pop access for the migrated emails. Select Add. Next, enable the storage percentage that you would like for the migration to pause app. Enter the maximum connection limit your server can accept when the migration process starts. Select Create. Once your data migration settings are applied, go to the Users tab. Please note, you can add users by selecting Import and uploading a CSV file. Now, select Add if you'd like to manually add a user. Click the icon next to the first field and choose the appropriate email address from the Select Source Email Address drop-down menu. Choose the appropriate email address from the Select Destination Email drop-down menu. Set the priority to High and click Add. Step 4. Start Migration Once your user import is completed, the final step is to select Start Migration option. You can now view the status of the migration. After a few minutes, select Refresh, navigate back to the Migrations page and select this current migration by name to check the status of the migration. Now you have successfully migrated all your data from Google Workspace to Zoho Mail. For more how-to videos like this one, subscribe to Zoho Mail channel. Thanks for watching.